Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? So, it's a girl. Oh, I'm in each Wajauru, aka Miss Fear Focal. Coming back to you guys, bare face and with my cornrows, girl. <laughs> how are you guys doing? So, yeah, I'm actually in my robe and my just the top. And um, today I didn't upload any video. Obviously, this will be the video that will go up, but i just felt like i wanted to talk to you guys um whew, I, I i feel like i feel like i'm just like mentally and physically exhausted and um i feel like if you're mentally exhausted then you kind of become physically exhausted as well i don't know if this works with other people or not but with me it actually does that it, it wears me down it it just it, it's just a crazy crazy process and all that and so today i just felt like i needed to talk to you guys because i just uploaded a vlog that was when i was in durban it was really nice i was with jk and truly like it was just the best ever it was my first girls trip and definitely not my last and so i saw a lot of your comments thank you guys so much i saw so many compliments and yeah i see you guys and i hear you i'm gonna start doing like makeup videos and i'm also gonna do um like hauls how to put outfits together for your body type because that's very important um but you know today i just felt like let me just go ahead and talk to you guys because i mean i told myself that I'm gonna upload but when i woke up i was really just exhausted and we had load shading here so um i was like oh i'll upload i'll record but i was just i'm feeling really exhausted um so i do have a lot on my mind you guys and i just want to say that um i know that a lot of you guys like you watch my instagram you know insta stories youtube videos and i'm up i'm jolly constantly but that's not how it is on a daily basis i'm not even going to lie um at the end of the day i am still going through a divorce <laughs> when i announced my divorce i told you guys that by end of feb i'm gonna like it's gonna be done you know um but spoiler alert it's not done yet <laughs> so that stuff that are happening on the background which i feel like i can only tell you guys once this whole process is over but i will not lie it's not an easy process whatsoever and i feel like it's kind of like um an up and down it's like an up and down on a daily basis almost and that goes with you can be having the best day of your life and you receive a call and the stuff that are being said and you know the <laughs> just everything and your 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 whole day can just be ruined um a lot of you guys have realized that i don't really have a lot of friends and that is obviously by choice i just feel like the smaller the, the smaller the circle the less drama and stuff like that um and being someone that runs a drama channel isn't it funny or ironic that i don't like drama in my life <laughs> i like drama in other people's lives <laughs> but um i do have my best friend whose name is lebu and um she has just been an angel in my life. I don't even want to lie. I can be having that hair calling. Babe. Friend, are you here? And so obviously I will have to cut a bit of that. But there are people that you meet in your life, you guys. And they just become angels. And there are days where like, I was literally in tears. And this little human being... <laughs> will drive from her house she will drive from her work like she's self-employed but she'll drive and just come and make sure that she's checking up on me are you okay like i've never felt such a connection to someone in this way in a very very long time and i just like i'm just so grateful that she's in my life um but i just feel like you know this video is just for me to say to you guys that um, I remember last year when I was going through the stuff that I was going through, which you guys have not even had even a quarter of it. Um, but I will talk to you guys. I will be honest with you guys. Um, if I have to write a book about it and share everything, I'll do it. If I have to do videos about it, I'll do it. And that's not for me to say 
I'm exposing anyone or I'm trying for people to look at someone in a different way. That is simply because of you guys. When I was going through what I was going through, I searched and the videos that were pulling up were videos of people in America who our dynamics in life are completely different. And that's what I realized. I was like, in Africa, we still like representation. We do have representation of women that come out here and they talk about their marriages and they glorify their marriages, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong. I was one of them because I was happily married as well. But when things go bad, it's almost as if we try our best to like sweep it under the rug and we don't ever talk about it and we just make sure that, you know what, that is considered as an embarrassment. So you don't need to dwell on that. You don't need to talk about it. You need to just move on with your life. And that is a symbol of you have moved on. And for me, I feel like that is just such a stupid mentality because at the end of the day, there are still women out there that are just finding out that I got cheated on today. How do I deal with this situation? How do I deal with the situation where I'm at a point where I'm still having to decide? I know I want to leave, but my family is telling me stay there you know this and that when you have money when you don't have money when this and that and that and i personally just feel like you know with experience comes a lot like that's why they say experience is the best teacher and when i'm talking to you guys i'm going to be talking to you guys about something that i went through something that i know for a fact this is what i went through and so i'll be telling you guys obviously from my experience and from my point of view of where i come from and i feel like it will help someone out there um it's honestly guys been very 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 hard um and i try my best to just constantly be on the go you know and i'm just like the time that i'm gonna relax and just maybe i don't know like just do something for myself is the day that i actually see myself sign those divorce papers which i cannot wait for that day to come um i feel like i will celebrate <laughs> so much you guys like it's been uh, it's been going you know um be just because i feel like if i sit and i dwell on this then number one i'll get no work done number two it's not gonna be helpful for me um or to me and again i just feel like i, I it's easy for me to can slip back into depression because you guys know that I've suffered from depression and that's like one of my worst fears because I know how it is. I know how difficult it is to pull yourself out, especially without the meds, which is something that I've never wanted to be on any medication. But obviously when there's a need and it's something that, um, you know, they can see that you are failing to cope, it has to happen. But since I didn't want to be on any medication, I had to make sure that I pulled and I worked myself, you know, that's that. Um, and obviously with the help of my psychologist, who I'm still seeing by the way, but um sometimes i feel like it can be very easy for someone to see the pictures and see you happy like my girl's trip was everything you could just see with the vlog that girl i had fun um but at the same time i just came back from durban and uh <laughs> today is not so much of a good day girl it's like what time right now let me just check it's quarter to three right now and i'm still i'm wearing a robe girl <laughs> and um you know but it, it's like that you know it's days like that where one day you're okay the other day you're not this happens that happens um and i really just want to say that if you're someone that is also dealing with a lot i mean it's not it does not have to only just be about divorce or you know a spousal problem it can be a problem with the kids it can be a problem with your personal family a problem at work and stuff um just understand and please know that I feel like the ups and downs are like that when it comes to life. It's everyone. We all have our own different problems and we deal with them in different ways. But for me, the main aim is to make sure that you deal with your, your problems moving on with your life. Um, and when I say moving on, I mean that, you know, the important things don't need to necessarily stop. Um, just like, you know, sometimes I don't feel like it, but I push myself, I put on that makeup and by the time i'm even recording my mood is back my mood is up i'm laughing and stuff and i'm uploading those videos for you guys and you, the comment section i love my comment section it's so therapeutic and i love my ninja so much you guys have no idea how much i actually really appreciate you guys and so that's why i feel like sometimes whenever i'm not really doing too well it's very important for me to kind of record a video at that moment and you guys can just see what it is for what it is, you know, no makeup, no weave, no anything, because I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like 
putting on makeup i don't feel like putting on any wave maybe i might feel like it later to record videos for tomorrow but at this moment i really honestly don't and so that's why i decided i was gonna come to you guys exactly as i am because that's the nice part about being a youtuber and not necessarily being a celebrity that is on television whatever i want goes you understand like i can come here like the way i am and talk to you guys and so i really just want to give you guys strength to say that there are a lot of people that think that i somehow have superpowers it's so funny that someone actually came to my dms she's also a fellow youtuber hi honey um and she said that oh i mean can you please tell me is that medication you're taking um that helps you with the heartbreak and the pain because i know how much you love to ask <laughs> And I asked why. She was like, because my boyfriend cheated on me and I'm not coping. The pain is too much. And I see you, Jolie, and stuff. And you've been with your husband longer. And I knew how much you loved him. Everybody could see. But then you have to be taking something for you to be strong and for you to be happy and for you to push. Because sometimes I'm even struggling to get out of bed. And I loved you guys. But I could understand why she would say something like that. Um guys there's no medication that i take that they say this is for pain there's no medication that i take that they say this is for bravery there's no medication that i take where they're like you know or, or maybe somehow i have a heart that is so different that i don't feel the pain no i feel the pain i hurt i cry i feel miserable at that particular moment but the difference is honestly i tell myself that you know i only have one life to live and the longer I waste time um, trying to say it should have been like this, I wish it was like that, it's, the, it's more time that I'm wasting with my life. And I should just go ahead and say, okay, this happened. We cried, girl, for like, you know, this moment, maybe a week. Now what is the next um, strategy? And for me was you are getting that man back into this house and you're starting to get over him whilst he's still in this house because kicking him out the pain was just too great i couldn't do it um and so you know i started my healing with him at that moment i just told myself that i was going to be selfish but does it mean that like there's anything that i took or there's any special secret that i'm gonna just be like no i mean i i feel like it's just daily steps on how you live your life and your way of thinking your mentality and um you know just prioritizing what's important important i guess but um honestly like i just wanted to tell you guys and let you guys know because i the last thing i want is for you guys to just think that you know oh i mean went through it like that then it makes other women feel like they are maybe just weaker or they are somehow because they have to deal with this stuff i mean you have to see what you're dealing with you have to deal with the pain the heartache and sometimes maybe not coping and then you would beat yourself down like why are you like this because oh wami was you know going through it with no hicks and stuff no they're there guys they're there i have my off days as well i have the pains very much normal um and it's nothing to be embarrassed about like absolutely not number one we don't we don't choose for our hearts who they love but at the end of the day we can train our hearts to keep it moving <laughs> some of you were laughing when i said some of your hearts need to be taken out and washed i'm telling you the honest truth you don't have to always follow your heart your heart can be like go there and you're just like mm, all the way there like the shop right trolley you try to go there it goes there but um you know it's just some of those stuff you guys i'm 30 years old i'm turning 31 this year and I'm telling you that I've lived a rougher life than most. If I sat down and I just like narrated and told you guys my life story, a lot of you guys would actually be shocked because I've gone through so much literally from losing my mom and the stuff that had to happen and how those stuff happened. And I've never ever made it a secret that at one point we were actually homeless and um, the feeling and everything like that's, it's a lot you guys so i've i've gone through a lot of stuff and you know they say what well, don't kill you makes you stronger but sometimes it makes you bitter so you gotta be careful of that but it is true what well, don't kill you makes you stronger and even whenever you have to deal with life situations um you know you deal them in different ways because you've had experiences of a lot of stuff it's not a lot of stuff that happened in my life and i'm like oh my gosh this is like no it's not <laughs> because i've had to deal with a lot more painful stuff than you know the small pity stuff petty stuff that would actually be happening so um i think that you know whatever does not um you know 
till you make you stronger and again i'll forever say this if you're someone that suffers with mental health or you think maybe i might be suffering with mental health go see a psychologist they help a lot you guys i don't even want to lie and so yeah i also do have to say there's something huge that's coming um and i'm so excited for it and i'm so happy for you guys that you're gonna get it i think it will be next week um i hired a new pa so i got a pa you guys and um she'll be starting in april so i cannot wait for that because there's a lot of work that's happening um and also um so yeah i've got projects that i'm actually working on and i really do hope that my ninjas will support me but i'm really excited i feel like this is something that you guys definitely need and you will definitely use and so i'm really really happy about that but yeah i know this was not an entertainment video and it was different it's different from the videos that i usually make where i'm in makeup and i'm like darling shbobo yes you know but the main message with this video is that it's okay to not cope sometimes it's okay to feel down sometimes it's okay it's okay to say yes maybe I, I had my highest high yesterday and i wake up today and i'm having my lowest low like it's okay as long as you don't dwell on it um you know i mean taking a day off just for yourself i feel like it's there's absolutely nothing wrong with that um just make sure that you always take off business that's what i always say but other than that honestly ninjas i just want you guys to know that um it's life things happen we will be okay you will be okay not necessarily about like divorce whatever it can be anything that you're dealing with and maybe it's mentally challenging um it's something that will be okay um and don't stress too much just a little bit <laughs> so from you i i love you guys so much stay blessed and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye ninjas